Now, this game is being taped uh, for telecast at a later time on uh, Channel 15, as well as the JV game earlier tonight with the incomparable Mark Carvino, and uh, that'll be on uh, very soon, uh, maybe tomorrow night, I guess, uh, the JV game and the varsity games. Again, the JV game tonight uh, won by Rutland, 71 to 28. We mentioned a couple of other events going on. We mentioned a couple of hockey games. You can't forget the social at MSG on Wednesday nights. And uh, that's going on, too. And I'm sure that kept down the crowd a little bit here, too. I think another key for the Mountie side has to be Sean Keenan. He's the leader out there for him. He, he's the ball carrier. They try to get Rogers the ball at the top of the key, but Sean's the one that brings it up the court. So it's going to be interesting to see how the uh, Mounties break the Raiders full court press and then how Sean handles it. I, I really believe that if Sean has, is, is on that night if he's having a big night and he's not turning the ball over if he's the one that's being patient I think the rest of the team will follow he's like the leader out there he's the quarterback of the football team he's almost like the quarterback out here by being the point guard so I think for the Mounties to be successful tonight he's going to have to have a big night meaning turnover free I don't, I don't think they expect him to score a lot of points I think uh, you're going to see probably Matt Rogers and Danny Collins be the bulk of the scoring for the Mounties they have been for the last couple of seasons so uh, that shouldn't be a surprise to uh, the listeners at the end of the game if those two guys are, are the leading scorers for the Mounties. And we, of course, uh, told you about changes for both teams. Joe Mormon starting for the Mounties. And for the Raiders, uh, Stuart St. Peter and Ben Anderson getting the starting nod tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, before the opening tap of our game tonight between the Mounties and the Raiders, our national anthem. To go here momentarily, MSJ and Rutland, the opener in the Marble Valley League A Division season. The second year of the Marble Valley League, as far as uh, these uh, clubs are concerned, formerly the Southern Vermont League, of course. The Raiders have uh, mostly played Northern teams to start the year. They played Burlington and Essex a couple of times. I think that's going to help them down the line because it appears in the early going that the balance of power in the state this year very well could be in the north with Burlington and South Burlington and Essex. So the Raiders split with Essex and it played Burlington tough the second time. I know they have South Burlington coming up later in the year. Yeah, we're going to get a chance to see them, I believe, here. Yeah, they're on our schedule later on. The Raiders will be going left to right here in the first half. And the Mounties going right to left. Matt Rogers will jump center with Stewart St. Peter. Absolutely imperative from MSJ's point of view for anybody on the club to stay away from the foul problems is off the tap. It is controlled finally by MSJ after a battle at the sidelines. And Joe Lorman, who's getting the starting nod tonight for the Mounties, Dribbles into the forecourt against the Raiders' zone. On the right sideline, he goes to Carroll, out front to Lorman, back to Carroll, right wing, near the right sideline. To the right baseline to Collins, his jumper's no good. Rogers, the rebound, head fakes back up, no good. And the rebound is finally controlled by Ben Anderson. Now by now to Sin, into the forecourt, he throws it for Jimmy and Agnes, right baseline. And Agnes lost it out of bounds. So the body's gone, open the backcourt. Just to repeat, Collins and Berisowski. Berisowski did not get the starting nod tonight. Both fouled out of that holiday tournament championship game. They can ill afford to get into foul trouble tonight. Full court zone pressure for the Raiders. Keenan with a basketball. Ahead to Rogers. Rogers breaks the pressure into the forecourt. On the bounce left baseline to Collins. Out to Carroll. Now it goes to Keenan. Halfway between the circles. On the right he goes to Lorman near the right sideline. Cross court to Carroll. Drives baseline. Lays it up. No good. Rebound controlled by St. Peter. Head down to Sin, now to a Nagus, right baseline, lost control, run down by Barron, out front to Sin, top of the circle, dribbles once, his 18 footer is no good, and the rebound is controlled by Barron, his shot blocked underneath by Keenan, and Keenan controls the basketball as he dribbles into the forecourt. Out front now to Lorman, 3 2 Raiders zone, or 1 2 2, you want to call it that. Carroll went to, back to Lorman, and now Lorman on the right goes to Collins, back out to Lorman, top of the circle, back to Collins. Here's the 1 2 2 Raiders zone. Collins comes cross court left wing to Carroll, back out to Lorman, top of the circle. Lorman looking inside, on the right now to Collins, between the sideline and the key, back out to Lorman, top of the circle. Wanted to force it into Rogers, stolen away by Barron. Barron on the bounce to Adagnus, he drives and lays it in. And it took over a minute, but Anagnus gets the first bucket of the ball game, and the Raiders lead it 2-0 as the inbounds pass was knocked out of bounds by St. Peter. And the Mounties will try again in the backcourt against the full-court pressure. 
And Rodgers lost it to Barron, goes to St. Peter, lays it up, no good. Rebound goes to Rodgers. So Barron had the steal. St. Peter couldn't can the bucket, and the Mounties have the basketball. Against the 1-2-2 two, two Raiders zone. Norman with it. On the right, it goes to Collins. On the bounce to Rogers. Lost the handle. St. Peter steals. St. Peter into the forward court. St. Peter sends it out front to send to the key to the lane. Running right hander. No good off the glass. Rebound goes to Rogers. Rogers now to Keenan. Keenan to Norman. Norman, Rogers, Keenan. Collins and Carroll right now for the Mounties. The Raiders lead it in the early going 2-0. 536 remaining in the first quarter here at the Keefe Gym. Lorman out front to Collins, back to Lorman, to the right sideline to Sean Keenan. Back to Lorman, between the sideline and the key, back to Keenan. Keenan near the right sideline, back to Lorman, way out front. To the right corner, it goes to Jeremy Carroll, dribbles once, back out to Lorman. Lorman now to Collins, dribbles to the left, pumps up the three-pointer. It's no good off the back of the rim. Rebound goes to Barron, saves it nicely to St. Peter. Ahead to Sin, Sin down the middle, wanted to go to Anderson, knocked out of bounds on a nice defensive play by Dan Collins. It's interesting. Uh, the Raiders are in a 1-2-2 zone, like you said. Uh, we haven't seen much of that this year, and I'm sure Coach Thompson's going to that to try to take away that three-point shot from Dan Collins. That was real successful. He had uh, three of them, I believe, in the first meeting last week. But Agnes with it, left sideline for Ruffin High. The Raiders lead it 2-0. Agnes looking around. Dribbles once. Out front, it goes to St. Peter. Left side of the lane, 15-footer bang. It's 4-0, Raiders. In that full court pressure by Rutland, Lorman, double team, breaks the pressure to Carroll. Carroll dribbles to the lane, tried to go up with it. It was blocked, but he was fouled, and Jeremy Carroll will be at the line for two shots. He was in the act of shooting. The foul is on Ben Anderson. That's Ben's first, and that's the first on the team. Now he's did a real good job breaking the pressure right there. They had the advantage. They had the two-on-one, and Jeremy saw the lane, took it all the way up strong. Nice play right there by Jeremy Carroll. And he will try to get the Mounties in the book on the board for the first time tonight. Jeremy Carroll looks and fires, and he's got it. It's 4-1 Rutland. And Jeremy's granddad is back and has the best seat in the house. He was up in the second row last week. He's back to the first row. Second shot by Jeremy Carroll is good. Two free throws for Jeremy Carroll. It's 4-2 Rutland. Barron going to work on Lorman into the forecourt. On the left now to Sin. Down low to St. Peter. Fade away in the lane. Around the ribbon in. He got the roll and the Raiders lead at 6-2. And we have a violation against the Mounties. Keenan was in the court of play when he got the pass and then went out of bounds. And so now the Raiders will control from the baseline. 4.30 left in the first quarter. As an Agnes looking to put the ball into play. Gets it into St. Peter in the lane. His 12-footer around the ribbon in. St. Peter with a soft touch. Puts the Raiders up by a score of 8-2. to two. The Mounties are in the man-to-man -man defensively. The Raiders have been in the zone. The full court zone pressure right now. And Barron knocks the ball out of bounds as Lorman tried to throw it ahead to Matt Rogers. So the Mounties will try again in the backcourt. Comes in to Lorman, to Sean Keenan. Double team to St. Peter and Sin come over. Full court zone pressure back to Lorman. Ahead now to Carroll as they break the pressure. Carroll to the left baseline is fade away. Good off the glass. Eight to four. Raiders by four. 358 left first quarter. Barron is fouled out front by Joe Lorman. And that's the first on Joe Lorman. And that is the first team foul on the Mounties. So we see the Raiders, Andy, in the 1 2 2 zone. Full court zone pressure. Yeah, the Mounties are man to man defensively. They're even in the full court zone tonight. Uh, they're staying away from the man to man. It's causing the Mounties a little bit of trouble. They're really not attacking it. They're kind of laying back and just letting things happen. And they turned the ball over a couple times due to it. Sin with it. Dribbles left to right. Into the lane. Running right hander. No good. Rebound back to Sin in the lane. Back up the shot. Blocked. But we're going to whistle on a foul against the Mounties. It's either on Collins or Carroll. We'll wait and see. It's on Dan Collins, and that's his first. First on Dan Collins, that is the second on the team. Jeff Sin in the act of shooting at the line for two. Jeff Sin, a six-foot senior. His shot is no good. He'll get another. Stuart St. Peter's having a decent night tonight for uh, the Raiders right now. He's got six of the eight points. 
And Jeremy Carroll has all four of the Mounty points. Second shot by Sin is good. He gets one out of two. And it's 9-4 Raiders with 350 remaining in the first quarter. That full court zone pressure. Keenan gets it into play to Lorman. Immediately double teamed to St. Peter and Sin come over. Ahead to Rogers. Picked up by a Nagus and Sin in the backcourt. And we got a foul against one or the other. I believe it's on Sin. It is on Jeff Sin, his first, and that is the second on the team. So the Mounties will try again in the backcourt, going with Matt Rogers, Joe Lorman, Jeremy Carroll, Sean Keenan, and Dan Collins. Ben Anderson, Stuart St. Peter, Jimmy and Agnes, Luke Barron, and Jeff Sin for the Raiders. They set up that 1-2-2 zone. Lorman down the middle in the forecourt on the right out of Keenan near the right sideline. Back out front to Lorman. On the bounce, left sideline to Collins. Back out to Lorman. The most of the key now on the bounce in the lane to Rogers. Quick shot is no good. Rebound Keenan for the baseline. Back up and good. It's going to count. He got fouled. John Keenan with an opportunity for a three-point play. And the foul against the Raiders. Ben Anderson, that's two on Ben Anderson. That is three on the team. It is now 9-6. Raiders and Keenan at the line for Warren. Pretty play right there by Keenan. Went for the board, got the offensive rebound, laid it up and in, took it strong, and uh, unfortunately for Ben Anderson, he picked up his second foul. Shot no good, but Collins runs down the rebound. Tried to go inside, picked off by Anagnus. Now to Sin, starts the break. Sin, running right-hander, good off the glass as he pulled it up. Left side of the lane. It's 11-6, the Raiders by five. Again, that full court pressure this time. Collins had it knocked away. Back to Keenan, still in the backcourt, but Keenan breaks the pressure as he dribbles into the forecourt and has it halfway between the circles, dribbles to the left and stops on the right now to Dan Collins. Back to Keenan, to the left baseline to Lorman. His short jumper's no good. Rebound, Carroll underneath. His shot blocked by St. Peter, comes out to Barron. Barron starts the break. Dribbles to the right sideline, down low to St. Peter, turn around no good, rebound Keenan. St. Peter with a little baseline jumper, didn't hit in the Mounties control. With it is Lorman, picked up by Anagnus off the 1-2-2 zone, on the right to Collins, to the right sideline it goes to Carroll, Collins gets it back again, back to Carroll near the right corner. Carroll back to Collins right side, between the sideline and the middle, to the left sideline he goes to Keenan, back out front to Lorman, top of the circle, Joe Lorman. Swins it to Carroll at the left baseline. Dribbles toward the left sideline and stops. On the bounce down low to Rogers. Turnaround for the baseline is no good. Rebound, Sin. Sin for the Raiders ahead to Barron. Barron on the bounce left side to Anagas. Drives baseline. The shot, no good. Rebound goes to St. Peter. Fade away, no good. Rebound, Anderson, no good. Rebound, Anagas back up, no good. We get an offensive foul, I believe, against Jimmy Anagas. Anagnus apparently pushed off before the shot. Fourth on the team, the foul on Anagnus is number one. As into the game is Mike Severson, Brent Bliss, Mark Barasa, and Brian Penny and Kyle Berquist for the Raiders. So an entirely different unit for Ruffin High. Monty's control in the backcourt. As Keenan puts the ball into play to Rogers, Gorosowski getting set to check in for MSJ. Rogers loses control, picked off by Berquist, and Berquist is traveling. Uh, one thing else I was going to mention tonight, uh, the players are going to have to be careful with the fouls and then the little things like that. For instance, that travel, uh, the one foul I was referring to is the one Jeff Sin got on the full court pressure. With the extra official tonight, they got an extra set of eyes out there to see those little fouls that probably wouldn't normally be called. Gorosowski is in for Lorman for MSJ as the Mounties control with Dan Collins. Collins between the sideline and the key left side. Down low one to to Gorosowski. Picked off by Bliss on a nice defensive play, and he dribbles into the forecourt, stops right sideline. Down low to Severson, right baseline. Back out, he goes to Bliss into the lane, shut off, double team, back to Berkwitz, right wing, picked up by Beroselski. On the bounce to Barasa, on the left now, back to Bliss, and Bliss is traveling. 11-6, the Raiders lead it by five, a minute 28 left first quarter. Both teams really haven't got much going offensively. And we got a foul before the Mounties could put the ball into play, and I believe it's on Collins. It is a foul on Dan Collins, and we talked about Dan getting into foul trouble in that game last week. He's already got two here in the first quarter. That's three on the team, and it's the Raiders basketball. Lorman will check in for Collins. On the bounce, it comes into Penny. Shot blocked by Keenan. We got a foul on Sean Keenan. Brian Penny will be out the line for two shots. Foul on Sean Keenan is number one, and that's number four on the team. Here's Lorman and checking out his Collins. That's a tough foul on Collins because that was on the, the in the backcourt when your team has the basketball. It was a tough call, call like you said. He, they called him for pushing off against Berkowitz. Berkowitz. Don't like to see fouls like that if you're yeah. Coach Leon Wood. Shot by 
Penny is no good, he'll get another. No, he was quite upset, Coach Wood was, with that call because he knows Danny Collins is a big part of his offense. And the two times we've seen him this year, he's already got two fouls here in the first quarter, and he had four just into the second half in the last game. So he's Penny to hits careful. the second. One out of two for Brian Penny. It's 12-6. The Raiders by six. As with it in the backcourt is Sean Keenan. The Raiders now are in the man-to-man -man with this unit. As Sievertson picks up Keenan, right sideline. John Keenan dribbles to the right baseline. Try to feed Rodgers, picked off by Brent Bliss. So that unit using the man-to-man. -man. Brian Penny with it right now, picked up by Lorman. Up top now to Berkowitz, down low to Barasa, right side of the lane, back out to Penny, lines up the three. It's no good off the back of the rim. Rebound goes to Sievertson. Goes to the right sideline. Dribbles around, looking inside. Down low on the bounce to Berkowitz. Just turn around, no good off the glass. Tapped up, no good by Sievertson. Sievertson again, back up and good. It's going to count. And he got fouled. Mike Sievertson with an opportunity for a three-point play. And that foul is going to go against Joe Beroselski, who also fouled out last week. That's the first on Beroselski, fifth on the team. And the Raiders have an eight-point lead. They lead it 14-6, and Sievertson opportunity for a three-point play. 48 seconds left in the first quarter. Shot by Sievertson, no good. Rebound, Penny in the lane. Lost the handle. It goes to Bliss, short jumper, good. The Raiders go up 16-6. They lead it by 10. Full court pressure by the Raiders. Keenan looking, gets it into Lorman. Back to Keenan. The Raiders relent. Keenan into the four court down the middle. On the bounce inside to Beresowski. Back out to Lorman up for three. It's no good. And the rebound goes to Berquist. And we have a traveling violation on Kyle Berquist. So the Mounties will put the ball into play from the baseline. Unfortunate turnover. Kyle really never got his footing when he came down. He was kind of off balance and turned the ball over. Carroll looking to put the ball into play. Jeremy Carroll on the bounce gets it in to Beresowski left baseline. Cross court now to Carroll, lost control, and it goes out of bounds off Brent Bliss. So the Mounties will try again from the baseline with 20 seconds remaining in the first quarter. Raiders have a 16-6 lead. Jeremy Carroll on the bounce to Keenan right sideline. 15 seconds left in the quarter. Keenan still with it. Picked up by Sievertson. Down a moment to the key to the lane. Shovels it off for Rogers. Short jumper good off the glass. Nice pass from Lorman. 16-8. The Raiders by eight. Three seconds left in the quarter. To Bliss up for three. No good at the buzzer. And that's the end of the first quarter. After a quarter, our score, Ruffin 16 and MSJ 8. We'll be back after this 30-second timeout. Cast of thousands here at the Keith Gym. MSJ and Ruffin. Ruffin has a 16-8 lead after a quarter. When I say a cast of thousands, talking about us. Jack Ely on board with Andy Rice. Bulldog Blair, our engineer, also with us is Drew White. A uh, real sloppy period, I think, for both teams. Offensively, neither team had anything uh, really effective working for them, and I think that's either a credit to the defense of both teams or, or both teams are just playing uh, sloppy uh, offense right now. I'm not really sure which it is, but, but still, neither team got much going offensively. A lot of turnovers for both teams, and then offensive rebounds. Neither team boxed out well at all. Each team had five offensive rebounds. Out. Raiders possession. They have that original unit back in, and Agnes with it out to Luke Barron, left side of the circle, now to the left sideline to Sin down low to Anagnus now to Anderson right baseline lays it up no good it might have been deflected by Beresowski and Beresowski came down with it and with it now is Sean Keenan early going second quarter Rutland 16 MSJ 8 Keenan with it dribbles around right sideline picked up by Barron off the man to man so even though it's the original unit they're into the man-to-man. -man. That's a five-second violation on Sean Keenan. Another turnover right there for the Mounties. That's something, uh, like I said, their offense, nobody was trying to uh, come across and, and pick and get somebody open in the lane against that zone. And, uh, unfortunate thing right there. Darren goes to Anagas, lays it up, no good. Rebound goes to St. Peter, up and good. It's going to count, and he got fouled. St. Peter with an opportunity for a three-point play. Stuart St. Peter. And the foul is on Sean Keenan. That's number two on Keenan. That's six on the team. And the next uh, foul by the Mounties will send a Raider to the line, in this case St. Peter at the line anyway, to try to cash in on a three-point play as the Raiders lead at 18 to 8. Matching their biggest lead, they lead by 10. The shot is no good. Rebound goes to Matt Rogers. Rogers to Lorman. Matt Rogers, Joe Lorman, Sean Keenan, Jeremy Kell, and Joe Belosowski right now for MSJ. Lorman with the left sideline in the forecourt, picked up by Anagnus. Lorman 
Sends it to Keenan, knocked away by Barron, picked off by Anagnus. Down court is pass, knocked away by Beroselski, picked off by Rogers. On the bounce, wanted to go to Keenan, buy him and out of bounds. Great play, though, on the defensive end by Beroselski. Great play by Beroselski, like you said, after they turned the ball over. Then they got it back for the second chance, and they threw the ball away. They've got to, they've got to settle down. That's what I mean by being more patient. I think they're gonna, if they're going to get back into this and cut this lead down a little bit, they've got to be more patient. That's what I mean by more patient. Under Sin getting the pass, and he lays it in. 20-8. to eight. The Raiders, with their biggest lead, they lead it by 12, 646. Left in the first half here at the Keep, Jim. Leon Wood wants the timeout, so we got a timeout on the floor. We'll be back after this 30-second timeout. Fushi Company, serving the Rutland region for over 40 years. 646 left first half here at the Keep, Jim. The Raiders 20, the Mounties 8. That original starting 5 in there for... Rubble High, by the way, St. Peter's Sin, Darren Anagnus, and Ben Anderson. Still, uh, Stewart's having a decent night for the Raiders. He's leading all scorers right now with eight points. Foul trouble. The Mounties have got Sean Keenan and Dan Collins each have two fouls apiece. Keenan throws it all the way to the fourth court to Lorman, and Lorman goes into Anderson. Offensive foul on Joe Lorman. Puts the Mounties over the limit. However, that is an offensive foul, so the Raiders will control the basketball. That foul on Lorman is his second. The Raiders in that game last week in the holiday tournament, the championship game, pulled off to an 18-point lead eventually and won it by 13. And right now, they have a 12-point lead. They're in control of this basketball game. The Mounties in the zone as Barron goes right sideline to Sin, down low to St. Peter. Right side of the lane, turns, fires up, no good. Rebound goes to Sean Keenan. Keenan shovels it off now for Lorman. Lorman picked up by Anagnus in the backcourt, but gets it into the forecourt, reverse dribble, chases it down left sideline. Out front now to Jeremy Carroll, halfway between the circles. Carroll to the right side of the lane. On the bounce now to Borosowski, back out to Keenan. Between the right sideline and the key. Way out front, picked up by Luke Barrett. Keenan dribbles a few times. Out front to Rogers. Rogers now on the left of Borosowski. 17-footer off the rim, and it sits on top of the backboard. It bounced off the rim and sat on the backboard. It's up there right now, and Jeff Sin will poke it off the top here. So it'll be Raiders basketball. Still, the Mounties were very patient that time. They worked it for a good shot. Uh, unfortunate break. Once again, the ball went up and got caught on the back of the rim. No one had a chance for a rebound. But still, I think uh, Coach Wood told them to settle down offensively, work it around, be patient. And, and they did, and they got a good shot that time. It just didn't fall for them. With it on the left as Barron drives. Baseline shot blocked by Rogers. Jump ball situation. And it will be Rutland's basketball. Nice, nice defensive play right there by Rogers. He's not having a big night offensively so far. He's only got two points, but, but a real big defensive play right there. Maybe there's some question as to whose possession it will be. I believe it's MSJ's because the Raiders got the ball at the, at the end of the quarter, and they might not have switched it. That's a possibility. Of course, the arrow is opposite us. Yeah, that's it. It is MSJ's uh, possession. It. They never switched it after the uh, first possession of the second quarter. And the Raiders uh, set up some full-court pressure as Keenan gets set to put the ball into play in the backcourt for MSJ. Keenan looking, loops it all the way to the forecourt, picked off by Anderson ahead to Anagnus. Another Mounty turnover, and Agnes with it out front now to Luke Barron. And the bounce back to Anagnus near the left sideline, up top to Anderson. Back to Anagnus, left baseline, 15-footer is no good. Rebound, hot for Rogers saves a nice play to Barosowski. Now to Sean Keenan. The Raiders relent. They're in the man-to-man -man as Barron picks up Sean Keenan. Keenan with it in the forecourt. Looks right, looks left. Goes right on the bounce to Barosowski. Right side of the circle. Dribbles to the key and stops on the left to Rogers. Rogers back out now to Keenan left wing. Keenan dribbles to the left sideline and stops. Back out front to Barosowski to the key to the lane. His shot is blocked by St. Peter. We get a foul on Stewart St. Peter. Barosowski will be out the line for two shots. In the act of shooting, the foul on Stu St. Peter, his first, and that is the fifth on the team. The Raiders lead it by 12, 20 to 8, with 5-12 left in the first half. Once again, the Mounties are, are very patient. They're taking advantage of, of a quickness matchup right now. The Raiders have gone to the man-to-man -to -man all over the court again. I think they're more comfortable in that, but they, the Mounties have got an advantage right now with a quicker... Um, 
Beresowski on a, on a tall uh, Ben Anderson, and right there was a good sign. Stewart, Stewart had to come over and help out on the play, so picked up the foul. Beresowski has hit both free throws. It is 20 to 10. The Raiders lead it by 10. Sin down low to St. Peter. The ball stolen away by Sean Keenan. St. Peter really never had possession as Keenan managed to steal the basketball. Keenan controls in the fourth court now on Luke Barron. Has it between the right sideline and the key. Reverse dribble to the circle and then backs it up again toward the right sideline. It's a rot, tenacious defense by Barron. It goes to Rogers. Back out to Keenan. Into the lane. Running right hander. No good. Rebound to Anderson. Now to Sin. Sin into the forward court. Left to right to the lane. His pass deflected, but it goes right to St. Peter. Left baseline. His shot blocked. It goes back to St. Peter. Reverse layup. No good. Rebound to Carroll. It was Rogers on the block. And Jeremy Carroll hands it off to Beresowski to Keenan to warm it. 424 left first half. Welcome by 10. The Raiders lead it 20 to 10. Keenan with it now. Keenan on the bounce. It goes to Carroll. Down the baseline. His pass intercepted by St. Peter on a nice play. Now Sin with it. Sin into the forecourt down the middle. On the right sideline, he goes to Anagnus on the cut to St. Peter. Short jumpers, no good. Tapped up by Anderson, no good. Rebound, fought for. Scramble for the basketball. They're on the floor. Rogers saves it to Beresowski. Beresowski dribbles into the forecourt down the left sideline for MSJ. Cross court to Jeremy Carroll. Between the sideline in the middle. Dribbles to the right sideline. Head fakes. On the bounce down low to Rogers. His left hander's no good. Rebound tap to Barron. Down court to Anagnus. Anagnus pulls it up right sideline. Cross court left side to Sin. Up for three. Short. No good. Rebound to Keenan. Down court to Carroll. Carroll drives to the bucket. Lays it up. No good. And he was fouled. And he was fouled by Jimmy Anagnus. Foul on Jimmy and Agnes is his second. And that is the sixth on the team, but it is a shooting foul as Carroll will be out the line for two. As now Berquist, Penny, Severson, Bliss, and Barrasso all come back in for Rutland. Rutland has a 10-point lead. Not a lot of scoring here in the uh, second quarter. And, and this quarter, I can say that I would have credit the defense. I think uh, both defenses have stepped it up. Matt Rogers for the Mounties. He's had three big defensive plays, saving the ball at one end, going to the floor rate right on the last particular play, and saving the ball again. And then a big rebound uh, when the Raiders were going up strong. So three big plays for him. And all the Raiders are playing good defense, that first unit out now. But uh, only six points here in the second quarter total for both teams. Carroll hit the first, missed the second. The Raiders control with Bliss. It's 20 to 11, a nine-point Raider lead. We got a steal by Rogers, and now he goes to Kyle Abel. Kyle Abel uh, has checked in for MSJ. He checked in during the last stoppage in play. With it is Lorman now. Dribbles to the lane. Running left-hander is no good. Rebound tapped out and saved by Jeremy Carroll. Top of the circle, and he's fouled by Brian Finney. And that puts the Raiders over the limit. Both teams over the limit now. Carroll will be out the line for a one and one. And the foul on Penny is his first. Luke Barron will check in for Brian Penny, I'm sure. And he does. So Barron in and Penny out for Rutland High. Tomorrow night, girls basketball. Rutland High and Mill River will be back here at the Keep Gym. We'll be on the air at 720. It's a nine-point Raider lead. Rutland lays it 20 to 11. 308 left in the first half. Shot by Carroll is no good. Rebound goes to Sievertson. Now to Luke Barron. Down the right sideline into the fourth court to the right baseline. Cross court wanted to go to Bliss at the left baseline. Couldn't handle the pass. Was out of bounds and the Mounties controlling the backcourt. Sterney gets set to check back. Very yeah. sloppy at the offensive end for the Raiders. They've only got four points uh, in this uh, quarter. Cannon all the way into the fourth court. is passed for Kyle Abel and it's not got a bounce by Berquist. As Penny's back in for Barron for Rumpel High. So it's Kyle Abel, Jeremy Carroll, Matt Rogers, Joe Lorman, and Sean Keenan right now for MSJ. When Abel checked in, he checked in for Burosowski a few minutes ago. As Carroll looks to put the ball into play, gets it into Lorman now between the sideline and the key right side. Rumpel's making MSJ work for every shot. Lorman into the lane, running left-hander, no good, rebound, Bliss. Basically getting one shot with it now is Sievertson, right sideline. Out front to the key, now to Bliss at the free throw line. He fires, no good. Rebound, fought four, we got a jump ball. Barasa came down with it. Rogers was over there. This will be Rutland's possession. 
see it. Drummond's got four points here. Drummond's outscored the Mounties just four to three here in the second quarter. Left sideline, Penny out front now to Sievertson. On the right sideline to Brent Bliss, back out to Sievertson. On the left to Penny. Penny comes cross court now to Bliss. Dribbles to the lane, a shot is good, but it won't count, he was traveling. So MSJ will control in the backcourt. It was 16-8 Rutland after a quarter. It's 20-11 Rutland now with 2.29 left in the first half. Full court pressure. Keenan throws it all the way into the fourth court. Intercepted by Berkwist to Sievertson. Has it right sideline. On the bounce right corner. It goes to Bliss. Back to Sievertson right wing. Sievertson to the key to the lane. Running right-hander. No good offensive foul on Sievertson. I believe that's what they're going to call. It is an offensive foul on Mike Sievertson. That's his first, and the Mounties will control the backcourt. I believe that was Jeremy Carroll with a nice position there. Kept his feet and took the charge. Good defensive play right there. Again, that relentless full-court pressure as the pass comes into Rodgers in the backcourt. Rodgers picked up by Mark Barrasso. Gets it into the fourth one of the bounce to Keenan to the left baseline, drives and lays it in. Strong move to the bucket for John Keenan. And the Raiders' latest been sliced to seven. Up on 20, MSJ 13. Sievertson with it. Now to Berquist. His turnaround is good. Right side of the lane. Kyle Berquist, 22-13. The Raiders with the lead with a minute 50 remaining in the first half. Rodgers with it in the backcourt as the Raiders relent defensively. Rodgers will try to get to the forecourt easily down the middle. On the bounce right side to Joe Lorman. It's a nine-point Rutland lead. Norman dribbles a few times. I uh, wanted to force it inside. Picked off by Penny. Two on one break. Penny to Bliss. Bliss lays it up and in. Left handed. The Raiders lead it by 11 now. Ruffin 24. MSJ 13 as Collins gets set to check back in for MSJ. Keenan down court to Carroll. Ahead to Abel. He's by himself. He lays it up and in. They broke the full court pressure and got the easy bucket from Kyle Abel. It's Rutland 24, MSJ 15, a minute 10 remaining in the first half. The Mounties in the 2-3 zone. With the right sideline is Sievertson. Sievertson dribbles once out front to Penny. Into the lane, lost the handle. Scramble for it, and Abel picks it off for MSJ. And a bounce to Carroll. Carroll down court to Keenan. Dribbles toward the middle. Back out to Carroll. Dribbles right to left, looks left. On the bounce down low to Rogers in the lane. Short jumper, no good. Abel. Tap the rebound to Keenan, back up, no good. Rebound to Rogers in the lane. Try to go up with it, it was knocked away, but he was fouled. Matt Rogers will be at the line for two shots. And we'll see here as Stu St. Peter checks in for Rutland. I believe that's on Kyle Berquist. It'll be Kyle's first. First on Berquist, both teams over the limit as Norman is out and Collins is in for MSJ. St. Peter is in for Rasa out for Rutland. And Rodgers at the line for two for MSJ with 42 seconds left in the first half. I believe this is the first time Danny Collins has been on the court here in the second quarter. He's yep. set out most of the second quarter. Rodgers hits the first. It's 24-16. The Raiders lead it by eight. Matt Rodgers will get another. Leon Woods' team's hanging in here right now. They're both teams are playing excellent defense, and the Mounties are, are staying in this game uh, much more so than they did last week. They, they kind of had a letdown in the second quarter. And Rodgers... Gets the second as well. Two free throws for Matt Rogers, and Rutland's lead is now at seven. Rutland 24, MSJ 17. Two, three, Mounty zone with it. Bliss to the right baseline to Sievertson. His shot hit the side of the board. Rebound to Rogers. The Mounties have an opportunity to cut that Raider lead to five here with 25 seconds left in the half. Rogers into the lane. A shot deflected by St. Peter, and it finally goes out of bounds off Rutland, and the Mounties will control from the baseline with 21 seconds remaining here in the half, and somebody went into the uh, the door right uh, here, the opening. Who was it? Brent Bliss. Bliss, and he's uh, sitting on the stairs. He might have hit his eye or on the side of the door. No, he got poked uh, when he and uh, Kyle Abel yeah. were going up for the ball there. I believe he got poked in the eye or scratched in the eye or something along those lines. Well, Sin is checking in for Brent Bliss. He's uh, sitting on the stairs right at the entrance here to the gym. So the Mounties will have the basketball with 21 seconds left in the first half. The Mounties have it from, well, they'll put the ball into play for the baseline. Brent Bliss is okay as he comes walking back onto the floor and will be going to the Raider bench here near the uh, sideline. And again, Sin is uh, in there right now for Rutland High for Brent Bliss. 
Carroll looking to put the ball into play from the baseline for MSJ. Looking around, still looking. Gets it in to Collins, right sideline. Alabas wanted to go to Keenan. Ball stolen away by Sievertson. Ahead to Sin. He drives and lays it in left-handed. Talk about your quick four-point turnarounds. So the Raiders go up 26-17 now. Six seconds left in the half. Rodgers down the middle to the key on the boss to Abel, and he lays it in as he went baseline. And that is the end of the first half. 26-19, the Raiders by seven at halftime. And definitely a low-scoring second quarter. So that's your halftime score. Rutland 26 and MSJ 19. Here at halftime of the Keep Jim, we'll be back to talk about it. And we'll get the statistics from both Andy Rice and Andrew White. We'll be back after this two-minute timeout. White and our engineer, Bulldog Blair, 26-19, the Raiders by seven. The Raiders have led by as many as 11 points in this ballgame. Raiders going with Luke Barron, Jimmy and Agnes, Jeff Sin, Ben Anderson, Stuart St. Peter, Jeremy Carroll, Matt Rogers, Sean Keenan, Dan Collins, and Kyle Abel for the Mounties. The Mounties going left to right here in the second half. The Raiders right to left, and it's the Mounties basketball. Sean Keenan with it in the forecourt. He's picked up by Barron off the man-to-man -man in his pass. Picked off by St. Peter to Barron. Barron dribbles to the right. On the bounce, down low to St. Peter. Right baseline shot blocked by Keenan. And it comes down to Matt Rogers. And Matt Rogers dribbles up slowly for the Mounties. Into the forecourt, down the middle. Dribbles to the left now. Looks at the bucket and sends it out front to Dan Collins halfway between the circles. Dan looks right and goes left to Keenan. Almost had it stolen away by Barron. Back to Collins. In the key now, looking around. On the right sideline to Abel. On the bounce, down low to Jeremy Carroll. On the bounce, he goes to Keenan. Lays it up. No good. Rebound, Sin. Sin on the outlet to Barron. Down court to Jimmy and Agnes. Right sideline in the forward court. Out front to Sin. Halfway between the circles. Dribbles to the right. Head fakes. Pumps up the shot. It's in and out. No good. Rebound to Carroll. Carroll outlet to Collins into the fourth court down the right sideline dribbles right to left. On the left to Rogers back out to Collins picked up by Anagnus. Looks right and on the bounce he goes inside to Rogers in the lane and his shot is good and the Mounties have cut into that Raider lead. The Raiders lead it by five now 26 to 21. Really going third quarter. Mounties in that 2-3 zone or you can call it the 2-1-2 zone if you want to as well. That's the look of the 2-3. Anagnus with it to the right baseline. Back out to Benny Anderson, right wing. Out to Sin, right side of the circle. Back to Anagnus, right side between the sideline and the middle. Back to Sin, right side of the circle. Up top to St. Peter. Turns, fires. It's no good. In and out. Rebound Carroll. Now to Keenan. Down court. One to go to Rogers. Knocked away by St. Peter. Anderson saves it to St. Peter at the baseline. Great play by Anderson. Great hustle as well. And Anderson has it. And now goes to Luke Barrett. Barrett on the bounce right sideline to Sin to the right baseline he drives lays it up no good offensive foul on Jeff Sin so Sin whistled out for the offensive foul and that is his second and that is the first on the team two Mounties with another opportunity to cut the Raider lead to three two minutes into the period the Raiders have attempted two shots had one blocked and the Mounties have uh, sucked up the rebounds they missed both the shots so no points for the Raiders here in the second half Keenan throws it by Abel and in the backcourt stolen away by Sin Sin back to the right baseline to a Nagnus now to St. Peter into the lane looks at the bucket his shot uh, or actually his pass I should say deflected and the Mounties have uh, stolen the basketball and with it is Collins St. Peter tried to go right side and the Mounties managed to deflect the pass now with a Keenan now to Abel Abel shot at the baseline blocked by Anderson going to foul on Ben Anderson I believe they're calling it on Jeff Sin or they're going to call it from behind I guess okay yeah he's pointing it is on Sin Anderson apparently with a clean block uh, Sin was on the other side Foul on Sin is third, second on the team, and Kyle Abel, though, in the act of shooting, will be out the line for two. Not sure, I didn't catch who uh, deflected that pass from St. Peter at the other end, but it was uh, Keenan. Keenan did that as the Mounties picked it off. Abel has missed the first, he'll get another. As Sin now sits down with the three fouls, and Mike Sievertson uh, checks in for Jeff Sin. Uh, still both teams, the Mounties have picked it up here to start the third quarter. They've definitely uh, 
come out to play and they're a step ahead of the Raiders right now. The Raiders are in sync offensively. They're, they're not doing the things uh, that they did last week to become successful down the offensive end. Abel missed the second shot as well and the Raiders control in the forecourt with Barron to Sievertson left sideline. Back out to Barron halfway between the circles against the Mountie zone. Barron on the bounce left side to Sievertson. Up for three. It's an air ball that comes down to Abel. That might have been deflected to Collins to Keenan. So the Mounties with another opportunity to cut the Raider lead to three. With it now left corner is Cal. His baseline jumper is good. It is a two-pointer. And it's 26-23. Rutland by three. The Raiders led by as many as 11 in the second quarter. Anagnus with it. Now back out to Sievertson, right side of the circle. Back to Anagnus, right sideline. Out front now to Luke Barron. Up for three. Bang. Big three-pointer for Luke Barron. So the Mounties threatening. Cut the lead to three. Barron puts the Raiders back up by six. Rutland 29, MSJ 23. And Keenan throws it ahead now to Carroll. Full court pressure. Carroll breaks it down the middle to the lane. On the bounce to Abel left baseline. Dribbles around. And he scoops it up and in for the baseline. Spun around. Found an opening. And got the bucket. 29-26. Rutland by three. With it left wing is Sievertson. Sievertson left sideline out front to Jimmy and Agnes. On the right wing to Luke Barron on the bounce to St. Peter. St. Peter to the key to the lane, head fakes. Back to Anagnus left side, out front to Sievertson. On the right to Barron, up for three. Short, no good, rebound Rodgers. Four minutes left, third quarter. Rutland by three, 29-26. Jeremy Carroll with it, picked up by Sieverson, dribbles to the right and stops near the right sideline. Spins around, looking, gets it to Rogers, right side of the circle. And Rogers sends it back out front to Collins near the midcourt circle. Collins looks right, goes left now to Keenan. When the sideline in the key, picked up by Barron. Keenan has it out front, hands it off to Carroll, dribbles right to left to the left baseline. Try to lay it up, the shot was blocked. Anderson and St. Peter both there, but we got a foul on one or the other. And the foul is on Ben Anderson. That's three on Anderson, so he's got three. Sin on the bench with three. As in now is Brian Penny for Mike Sievertson for Rutland High. And that's the third team foul on the Raiders. Shooting foul, Carroll at the line for two for MSJ. The Mounties have definitely picked it up here, like I was mentioning before. They're taking the play to the Raiders right now. The Raiders are just sitting back on their heels and letting things happen. Luke Barron. Got his first points of the night. He hit that big three-pointer, like you said, to, to, to stop that drought here in, in the third quarter. But uh, Jeremy Carroll right there taking it to two bigger men. He took it right into Anderson and St. Peter. Both of them fouled him. They gave the foul to Anderson, his third. It's the first, 29-26. So they changed the scoring on us there. Second shot by Carroll was good. 29-27. The Mounties had cut it to four. And uh, now they have cut the lead to two. Rutland 29, MSJ 27. With it, right wing is Jimmy and Agnes, and he picks it up at the sideline, almost lost it. Kyle Porquist wanted to go up front to Penny, stolen away by Jeremy Carroll. He drives, lays it up, no good. The shot blocked by Penny, but we got a foul on Penny, and Carroll will be up the line for two shots. 29-27, the Raiders lead it by two. 3.17 left third quarter, and Carroll can tie it up here with two shots from the line. Burke was checked in a few moments ago for Ben Anderson, who sits down with a three foul, sit on the bench with three, and that foul there was on Penny, his second, and the fourth on the team, and Jeremy Carroll at the line for two shots. He's five for seven from the line tonight. And his shot is no good, he'll get another. Surprising Coach Thompson not getting a timeout here. His team's kind of struggling offensively. The only points they have is the three-pointer by Barron at about the five-minute mark. Carroll's second shot good. He gets one out of two, and the Raiders lead it by one, 29 to 28. And Agnes with it now to Penny. Head face dribbles to the right. And he wanted to go inside. The ball deflected, picked off by Abel to Sean Keenan. So the Mounties can take the lead on this trip down the floor. Keenan with it left to right as he dribbles against Barron, dribbles to the right sideline. On the bounce, right baseline, it goes to Rogers, down low to Collins, lost it out of bounds, knocked out of bounds by Berkwist. So the Mounties will control from the baseline. A one-point Raider lead, 2.49 left in the third quarter. Askins into Collins, right sideline. Collins trying to force it into Rogers. Rogers looking to find the handle. And he is tied up by St. Peter. Jump ball situation. It'll be Rutland's basketball. The Mounties have outscored the Raiders 9-3 here in the third quarter. The 
Luke Barron dribbles into the forward court, down the middle for Rump and High. Out of bounds to Penny right sideline. Now back out to Anagnus, halfway between the circles, back to Penny. Penny to the right baseline, scoops it up, left-handed, no good. Rebound, Anagnus back up, no good. It was deflected. We got a whistle and a foul against the Mounties. Anagnus will be at the line for two. And the foul is on Jeremy Carroll. Oh, and Carroll, we have him for number one. That's the first on the team. And Siebertson is in for Berquist. For Rubman High. That is Jeremy's first foul. And Nangs will be at the line for the two shots, like you said. He's got only two points tonight. He was a big factor in that last, last 29 last yeah. week in that holiday tournament championship game. Shot by Anagnus is no good. He'll get another. The Raiders led by as many as 11 in the second quarter. Their lead at one right now. And another uncharacteristic uh, thing from the Raiders tonight. They've missed four of their six. I make that five, five of their uh, eight free throws tonight. And Agnes hits the second. He gets one out of two, and the Raiders lead it by two, 30 to 28. The pass comes in to Collins. He lost it. Picked off by Penny, and he lays it in. It was knocked away. It rolled right to Penny at the baseline. He laid it in easily, and the Raiders lead it by four, 32 to 28. We got a whistle as Carroll put the ball into play to Rogers, and we'll see what this is all about. I believe it might have went off Penny's foot. Well, maybe that's what happened. Okay. He's not pointing at anybody, and they're giving the ball right back to him. So Carroll looking to put the ball into play, and the bounce gets it in now to Collins. Being chased in the backcourt by Siebertson. Throws it into the forecourt to Keenan. Keenan all the way to the baseline, lays it up. No good. It was blocked by St. Peter, but we got a foul on the other side. It might be on Barron. It is on Luke Barron, his first. And that is one, two, three, four, five on the team here in the half. And Keenan will be out the line for two shots. Is that five or four on the team? Five. Shot by Keenan is no good off the back of the rim. We'll get another four-point ball game. The Raiders have a four-point lead. 2.07 left third quarter. Shot by Keenan is no good. He missed them both. Rebound goes to Brian Pinney. To Barron. Barron, Pinney, Sievertson, and Agnes and St. Peter right now for the Raiders. St. Peter with it. Cross court to Pinney. Looks at the pocket. Had it knocked away. Got it back again. It was knocked away by Collins. Now Pinney to Barron. Out front now to Sievertson. On the bounce right sideline to Pinney. Throws up the three-pointer. It's no good off the glass. Rebound to Carroll. He goes to Collins. Back to Jeremy Carroll. Carroll into the fourth court down the middle. A minute 38 left in the third quarter. On the bounce right side, it goes to Sean Keenan. Keenan looks it down low. Intended for Rogers. Picked off by St. Peter to Sievertson. Ahead now to Jimmy and Agnes right sideline. Four-point Raider lead. A minute 23 left in the third quarter. With it out front is Penny. Top of the circle. Back on the right wing to Barron to St. Peter. To the right side of the lane. Back to Barron to the right baseline. His 12 footer as an air ball comes down to Keenan. He's been cut the lead to two again, this time down the floor as Keenan goes to work on Luke Barron for MSJ. Sean Keenan controlling to the right sideline of Rogers. Way out front, picked up by Jimmy and Agnes, the Raiders in the man-to-man. -man. 57 seconds left, third quarter. Collins back to Rogers now. Rogers right sideline, dribbles to the lane. His 14-footer is short, no good. Rebound to a Nagus, ahead to Penny. Penny to the left side of the lane, and... If Brought it back out front, now to St. Peter left side, his 17-footer's no good, rebound to Abel at the corner, goes to Collins, and Kyle Abel gets it back again, ahead to Rogers. 32 seconds left here in the third quarter, Leon Wood wants one shot, Rogers right side of the lane, out of the key to Collins, forces the shot, no good off the glass as he went to the floor, rebound, Sievertson ahead to Penny. 20 seconds left in the quarter, Rutland 32, MSJ 28. Left sideline, it is Luke Barron with it. 12 seconds left in the quarter. Out to Sievertson near the midcourt circle against the Mountie zone. On the bounce right sideline to Penny. Five seconds left in the quarter. Penny back to Barron. To the key. His shot deflected by Rogers. No good as time expires. Ending the third quarter. After three here at the Keep Gym. Our score. Rutland 32. MSJ 28. We'll be back for the fourth quarter after this 30 second timeout. When you need insurance advice, Main Street in Rockland. Jeff 
Jack Healy back with Andy Rice after Keith Jim. 32 to 28. Rutland by four as we get set for the final eight. Jeff Sin back in with three fouls for Rutland High. So Sin's in with Penny, Sievertson, uh, and Agnes and St. Peter. Collins, Carroll, Rogers, and Keenan, and also uh, Kyle Abel for the Mounties. The Mounties has another low-scoring quarter. The Mounties outscored the Raiders 9-6 to in the third quarter. And MSG will have the basketball. A lot different than that came last week. Raiders went up by 18 and controlled it uh, throughout most of the ball game and won it by 13. Mounties making a run here. They trail by as many as 11 in the second quarter and trail by four now. From the left baseline, the shot by Collins is no good. Rebound goes out of bounds as Rodgers tried to save it at the sideline. The Raiders will control in the backcourt. Again, the Raiders going with Penny, Sievertson, Sin, Anagnus, and a St. Peter's. The Mounties uh, line it up in the 2-3 zone. Left sideline, Sievertson with it. And his pass is kicked by Dan Collins. A four-point Raider lead. I believe the Mounties got to within what? One point. That's as close as the Mounties have come since early in the ball game. Get correct. 29-28. Uh, yeah, 29-28. Raiders have scored three since that point. The Raiders control, early going fourth quarter. Sievertson with it, left sideline. Out front on the bounce to Sin, top of the circle, back to Sievertson. On the bounce to Anagnus, left baseline. His jumper's no good, rebound to Collins. Collins, Keenan, Rogers, Abel, and Carroll for MSJ. 7-17 left in the ball game. Keenan dribbles left to right and goes right sideline to Collins. Down low to Rogers. Turnaround in the lane is no good off the glass. Rebound tapped out to Penny. Penny into the forward court. Ryan Penny between the sideline of the key out front to Sin, top of the circle on the left to Sievertson. Sievertson looking inside, dribbles once back out front to Penny, top of the circle. Back to Sievertson, down low to Anagnus, and we've got a traveling violation on Jimmy Anagnus. MSJ has had a lot of opportunities to take the lead in this ball game. They certainly have. It's anybody's game right now going into the fourth quarter. Like you said, it's a lot different from last week's game. Full court pressure by the Raiders. Collins with it. Now to Carroll. Picked up by Sin in the backcourt. And Carroll breaks the pressure as he dribbles into the fourth court. Dribbles all the way to the lane. Scoops it underneath for Abel. And Abel lays it in. Great penetration by Carroll. And he shoveled it off for Abel. And Abel laid it in. And Rutland leads by two now. The Raiders 32. MSJ 30. Severson with it. Out front it goes to Sin. Halfway between the circles. Left sideline to Penny. Up for three. Good off the glass, Brian Penny. Oh, the touch like Sam Jones off the glass. 35-30. The Raiders go up by five. A big three-pointer for Brian Penny. Real big. The Raiders needed to get some points there. Their first two possessions of the ball this half, they weren't uh, they weren't uh, full court pressure. pressure. The Mounties have trouble with it and they lose it out of bounds. Great defense by Sievertson. And now uh, the Raiders will control from the left corner in the fourth court. The pass comes in now to Penny, left sideline. Out front now to Sin, up for three, good! So two three-pointers, one by Penny, the other by Sin, and all of a sudden the Raiders go up by eight, 38-30, Leon Wood wants a timeout. Got a timeout on the floor, 6-10 left in the ball game. It's Rutland 38, MSJ 30, back after this 30-second timeout. Hi, I'm Mary Sardi at 7, that's 773-9107. Jack Healy back with Andy Rice, 38-30. The Raiders lead it by 8. The Mounties had cut the lead to 32-30. Then a three-pointer by Brian Penny and another three-pointer by Jeff Sin with the Raiders up by 8 with 6-10 left in the basketball game. And the Mounties have it in the backcourt as Carroll throws the ball into play to Keenan, runs it down into the fourth court as the Mounties break that relentless Raider pressure. Keenan at the free throw line, shot blocked by St. Peter, comes down to Sin. Sin starts the break, pulls up right wing for the 15-footer, it's no good short. Rebound tap back out to Sin, into the lane, running right hitter's good. All of a sudden, just like that, Rutland goes up by 10, 40 to 30. Rogers with it in the backcourt. Rogers picked up by Anagnus. Dribbles behind the back, dribbles down the middle, and Anagnus fouls him. 16 foul on the Raiders. Tommy's only have one team foul. And that foul on Anagnus, number three. So Anagnus, three, Sin, three. They're both in there. Anderson on the bench with three. When Penny hit the three-pointer off the glass, I said, a la Sam Jones, and then realized that my young second-year man, Andy Rice, probably doesn't remember Sam Jones like I do. We'll have to get back into that a little bit later. John Keenan with it. 
Dribbles to the right sideline. Dribbles to the right baseline. Shut off of the baseline. A shot as an air ball comes down to Anagnas. Ahead now to Sin. Down the right sideline. Sin pulls it up right side now to Sievertson. Back to Sin right sideline to the right baseline. Shovels it for St. Peter's shot blocked by Rogers. I believe we're going to have the foul on Dan Collins. If it is on Collins, he's got three. It is on Collins. That's number three. That's the second on the team. St. Peter out the line for two. Sam Jones played for the Celtics, so those great Celtic teams, and he had that patented bank jump shot. Always kissed it off the glass, just like Penny did there. Penny, the first of uh, two three-pointers that came up for the Raiders after the Mounties had cut the lead to two, the other by Sin. St. Peter misses the first. He'll get another as Joe Norman checks in for MSJ. Just like that, uh, the Raiders, uh, you look, they finally looked at the board, were threatened, and uh, turned a two-point uh, lead into a ten-point lead here as Keenan gets a breather. Like you said, the Mounties weren't taking advantage of some of the opportunities the Raiders were giving them early on this, this quarter, and then... Um the Raiders started to take advantage of some of the ones the Mounties were giving us. A lot of turnovers again. Uh, this was a turnover game for both teams. We'll get the totals at the end of the game. St. Peter hit the second, got one out of two, and the Raiders lead it 41 to 30. That matches their biggest lead as they're back up by 11 again. Carroll with it to the right sideline. Carroll picked up by Sin. Jeremy Carroll on the bounce, wanted to get into Rogers by him and out of bounds. And the Raiders will go on hoop in the backcourt. I think Sievertson might have got away with one right there. He was rubbing Matt Rogers pretty good. And then the pass came into Rogers, and he kind of let up on him a little bit, and Rogers slipped to the ground. Ever since the Mounties cut the Raider lead to two, the Raiders with nine unanswered points. 4.50 left in the ball game. Sievertson to Sin, halfway between the circles, dribbles to the right. Back to Sievertson, right side, 17-footer. No good rebound. Penny trying to save it to St. Peter, picked off by Lorman. Joe Lorman into the court, down the middle. Lorman to the left side of the lane, left side of the circle now. And we're going to whistle away from the basketball. Now they're going to get Sievertson for Robert Rogers. It is on Sievertson. Absolutely right, Andy. He's definitely playing denial ball. They don't want Rodgers to get the ball, and uh, Sieverton's playing uh, great defense right now. Like I said, I thought he might have got away with one on the last possession, and uh, they got him for one right there. That puts the Raiders over the limit, so Matt Rodgers at the line for a one-and-one. One. Raiders with an 11-point lead, 41-30, 4.34 left in the ball game. The shot by Rodgers around the rim, no good. Rebound goes out of bounds, and it goes off Kyle Abel. The Raiders will control in the backcourt with Sieverton, Penny, Sin and Agnes and St. Peter. Ryan Penny down the middle against the 2-3 zone. Ryan Penny up top to an Agnes on the right to Severson on the bounce to the right baseline to Sin. His fadeaway is no good. It was deflected. Came down to Collins. Now Lorman with it. Lorman into the fourth court down the right sideline. Dribbles right to left and stops. Out to Collins. Now the cut to Rogers. Turn around around the rim and in. The Mounties try to climb back. It's 41-32. Rutland with a nine-point lead. 4.05 left in the ball game. Right wing Severson with it. The right baseline. St. Peter wanted to go inside. Ball picked off by Lorman. Now to Abel. Abel between the left sideline and the middle. Now to Collins' left sideline. On the bounce, wanted to go to Rogers. Rogers was fouled by Sievertson. Rogers will be out the line for a one-and-one. One. Absolutely imperative for MSJ to hit its free throws down the stretch here because already the Mounties are going to the line, and the Mounties only have two team fouls themselves as Anderson and Barron check in. St. Peter and Penny are off for up and high. Like you said, it is imperative. They've only hit three of nine here in the second half. Uh, Free throws, that is. That's three on Sieverson, by the way, as Rodgers is at the line for the one and one And he misses the shot. Rebound to Anagnus. Albert to Barron. Barron into the forecourt down the right sideline for Ruffin High. Luke Barron dribbles right to left now to Sin. On the left now to Sieverson, left baseline. Drives baseline. A shot blocked by Rodgers. Scramble for the basketball. Comes underneath the Barron. His shot blocked by Rodgers, and we got a foul on Matt Rodgers. And Barron will be at the line for two shots. Is it on uh, Rodgers, or was it on the other side? No, it's on the other side. Rodgers apparently with a clean block, but it is on Keenan. Keenan on the foul. Correction, third on Keenan. Third on the team. Barron will be at the line for two. I thought it might have been Abel. Abel was down low. But they did give it to Keenan. They did give it to Keenan. 335 left of the ball game. Luke Barron looks and fires. It's around the rim and in. He'll get another. Rutland 42, MSJ 32. Indeed, we are in the fourth quarter. 
Low scoring ball game here at the Keith Gym. Second shot by Barron is good. Two free throws for Luke Barron. And the Raiders again matching their biggest lead. One by 11, 43 to 32. Norman Carroll, Keenan, Rogers, and Abel right now for MSJ. Norman going to work on Sievertson in the forward court, right sideline. It was right to left, top of the circle stops. Looks right, looks left, goes left to the left wing to Sean Keenan. Keenan between the sideline and the key, left side. Keenan dribbles left to right, into the lane, running right hand here. No good, we're going to whistle on a foul against Rutland. Keenan will be at the line. I think that's going to be Barron. It is on Luke Barron. I'm going to put two. That's his second. Keenan at the line for two. He's in the act of shooting. Like you said, Jack, they've got to start knocking these free throws down. Like I said at the beginning of the game, the Mounties were going to have to keep it to a low-scoring game, and they, and they did do that. And now they're not knocking down the free throws, like you said, uh, three of nine. And Keenan misses the first. He'll get another. Plus, uh, they already got the Raiders over the limit. The Mounties have three team fouls, so they have the opportunities to go to the line here. That's uh, that's three of 11 here in the um, second half. and It's not going to get the job done. No, Keenan's not. second shot is good. Keenan, one out of two. It's a 10-point Ruffin lead. Ruffin 43, MSJ 33. 3.08 left in the ball game. Sin with a left sideline. Out front, it goes to Sievertson out of Barron right sideline. Raiders spread it out just a bit. Barron dribbles toward the middle and stops. Lost control. Pass picked off by Abel. Abel on the bounce to Lorman. 2.50 left in the ball game. It's Rutland by 10. Lorman into the lane. His 14-footer is no good. Rebound Ben Anderson. Tied up by Lorman. Jump ball. And it will be Rutland's basketball. Nice play by Lorman. Heads up. Uh, Anderson got the rebound cleanly. Came down with it. Brought it down low. Big guy. Shouldn't do that. The little guy, Joey Lorman, stuck his hands in there and cause the uh, change of possession, but it stayed with the Raiders. Sin with it for the Raiders in the fourth quarter. Goes to Anagna. Short jumper in the lane is good. 12-point Raider lead. That's their biggest lead. Ruffin 45, MSJ 33. Less than two minutes and 30 seconds left in the ball game. Carroll with it right sideline. Carroll looking inside. Carroll uh, wanted to go inside, and the ball picked off by Barron. And Barron is fouled in the fourth court by Keenan. And foul on Keenan number four, and that is the fourth team foul on MSJ. Common foul, the Raiders will have the basketball. Clock stops with 2.18 left in the ball. The Raiders have outscored the round. He's 13 to 5 here in the fourth quarter. Sievertson looking to put the ball into play, gets it in on the bounce to Luke Barron. Under the key to the line, wanted to go to Sin, picked off by Jeremy Carroll. Carroll goes to Lorman. Lorman into the forward court, down the middle against Mike Sievertson's man-to-man -man on the left of Jeremy Carroll. Carroll dribbles toward the baseline, pumps up the bomb, it's no good, rebound Jimmy and Agnes. And Agnes goes to Jeff Sin. Less than two minutes left in the ball game. Rutland 45, MSJ 33. Goes to Sievertson now. Sievertson on Sean Keenan on the bounce down low. Wanted to go to Anderson, fouled by Kyle Abel. Five team fouls on the mound. He's still a common foul. And the foul on Abel is first, I believe. Yep, I got him for one. Yep, it is his first. Sievertson looking to put the ball into play. Sievertson on the bounce, gets it into a Magnus. Left baseline is shot, blocked by Rogers, and it went off Anderson out of bounds. Nice defensive play. That's a... That's got to be, I believe, Rogers' fourth or fifth block. He's got three this half. I'll tell you. Two in the first half. He is all over the place. He running. absolutely never, never quits. Warm on top of the circle now to Keenan, halfway between the circles. Keenan dribbles to the left, dribbles to the lane now. And wanted to go underneath to Abel. The ball goes out of bounds, and the Raiders will control in the backcourt. When the Mounties cut there, well, we'll get to back uh, to that in just a moment. Leon Wood wants a timeout. We have a minute 33. Left in the ball game, our score, Rutland 45, MSJ 33. We'll be back after this 30-second timeout. The holiday, the holiday Tournament Championship game, Rutland had a 48-31 lead at halftime. And the score is similar to that, we're almost uh, through the ball game. A minute 33 left in the ball game, it's Rutland 45 and MSJ 33. So this score, the, the score that we have right now was close to the score that they had at halftime in that holiday tournament game last week. I think both teams' defenses have to be uh, given a hand because they're doing a great job tonight. Yeah, that's true. The defenses have been good tonight, but yet on the other hand, uh, they've missed uh, the free throws too, uh, especially MSJ. 
Rutledge basketball. Jeff Sin with it halfway between the circles. On the right to Severson near the right sideline. Down the sideline to Anagnes. Minute 10 left in the ball game. And Agnes holding the basketball. Goes to the right corner to Anderson. Back out to Sin. As the Raiders spread it out a bit. Out front it goes to Barron. Left sideline to Severson. Severson out front. Halfway between the circles to Sin. Left sideline to Anagnes. 56 seconds left in the ball game. Anagnes dribbles left to right. And goes on the right to Barron as the Raiders spread it out. 50 seconds left in the ball game. Barron dribbles around right sideline. Chased by Lorman to the right baseline to Anagnes. Pulls it back out to Barron. Back out front to Severson. 40 seconds left in the ball game. Severson now right sideline to Luke Barron. Luke Barron out front to Anagnes. 35 seconds left. Anagnes near the midcourt circle. Mounties are in the man-to-man here as they chase the Raiders. Went to Anderson, back out to Sin. Now on the left to Severson. And Severson fouled by Sean Keenan. And that's just the 16th foul on the Mounties. And Keenan, I believe, is fouled out. With 26 seconds left in the ball game. That is... Uh... I've got Keenan unofficially for five. Yeah, he's fouled out of the ball game. He comes to the bench here, I think. Hasn't quite sat down yet. I was going to say before that uh, timeout, Andy, that uh, when the Mounties cut the Raider lead to 32-30 early in the fourth quarter, from that point, the Raiders have outscored the Mounties 13-3 as Dan Collins, who was out, checks in for Sean Keenan for the Mounties. Keenan uh, has fouled out. It'll be Rutland's basketball. And, of course, uh, what started it was the three-pointer by Penny, followed closely by the three-pointer by Sin. And the Raiders, who were threatened, have not been threatened since that point. Barron with it, and he's fouled at midcourt as the Raiders have thrown the ball into the backcourt. And this will put the Mounties over the limit. And I believe that foul is on Jeremy Carroll. It's his second. And Barron will be out the line for a one-and-one one with 22 seconds left in the, ha- in the uh, ball game. I was going to say again that the score now is similar to the game at halftime. That's what I was uh, wanted to repeat, similar to the game at halftime in that holiday uh, tournament championship game. Barron's shot is good. He'll get another as the Raiders go up 46 to 33. The Raiders won that championship game by 13, and they're up by 13 in this game. Second shot by Barron is around the rim and in. The Raiders go up by 14. Two free throws by Luke Barron. 47-33. Rotland, and we got a line violation on the Mounties. Jeremy Carroll went over the baseline and thrown the basketball in. So the Raiders will have it at the baseline with 20 seconds left in the ball game. Sievertson gets it in left sideline to Barron. Barron dribbles left to right. 17 seconds left. Now to Sievertson. Out front to Sin, midcourt circle. And Sin is fouled by Carroll with 13 seconds left. The Raiders won that earlier game last week, the championship game of the holiday tournament by 13. They lead this one by 14 at the moment. Sin goes to the line for a one and one. Well, obviously, this one's been a lot closer than that game last week. And we got a timeout on the floor. That foul on Jeremy Carroll is third. 13 seconds left in the ball game. Or is that four on Jeremy Carroll? Four. Granddad would know. He's correcting us, even though the board says three. We're going to keep it right here. 13 seconds left in the ball game, and Rutland uh, leads it by 14. 47 to 33. I got him for three. We have a disagreement here, Granddad. We have him for three. That's okay. I think it's academic at this time anyway. But we'll keep it right here. As, uh, the Raiders, uh, with the two three-pointers, as we mentioned, Penny and uh, also Sin, they were threatened, looked at the scoreboard, and then decided to get to work. And of course, you've uh, got to give the Mounties a lot of credit uh, after losing that game last week on making a game of it tonight. And they hit their free throws and actually a lot of opportunities to cut into the Raider lead early. And actually a lot of opportunities if they could put together a couple of buckets to take the lead. But the Raiders uh, turned things around when they were threatened, and that's to their credit. And that, like you said, it was the two big three-pointers. They were... Uh they, uh, the Mounties cut the lead to two, and then the Raiders hit the two three-pointers and got the, everything going their way, the momentum. Sin at the line for a one-and-one. One. He hits the first. He'll get another as the Raiders go up by 15, 48-33. to 33. Second shot by Sin is no good. Rebound to Rogers. Rogers down the middle. Throws up the long three. It's no good off the back of the rim. Rebound to Nagus. Five seconds left in the ball game. And Nagus to Barron. Barron looks at the clock. Two seconds. One. And that's the ball game. And the Raiders have won it by a score of 48 to 33. 
A 15-point Rockland High victory here tonight at the Keep Gym. They will meet again later in the season in MSJ. The Raiders had a 13-point win last week and a 15-point win here tonight, but this game was a lot closer. The Raiders had a two-point lead in the early going in the fourth quarter. They had a 32-30 lead as they had a four-point lead after three. The Mounties got a bucket to cut the lead to 32-30 early in the fourth quarter. And Brian Penny with a three-pointer. Jeff Sin would follow with a three-pointer. From that point on, the Raiders outscored the Mounties 15-3. That's your final. Rutland 48, MSJ 33. We'll wrap it up after this two-minute timeout. 